Hey guys, Austin here, and welcome back to another Pixelmon video here on the channel. You're probably asking yourselves why I'm on this screen. Well, if you guys read the title, then you know today I'm making a quick video on how to install Pixelmon onto your Minecraft account. So that's what this video is going to be about today. I know it might not be something that everyone wanted to watch, but I figure I should make at least a video about this. So let's start right. Let's just get right into this right off the bat. And of course, if this guide is helpful to you all, consider leaving a like on the video, subscribing if you're new. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, feel free to leave them down below and let's get right into this. So first and foremost, I'm going to go with the assumption you guys already know how to install mods in Minecraft. If you guys want to watch a guide on how to just install mods, period, it will be linked in the description down below or if I remember I'll have in the card at the top right but let's get right into this with the assumption you've already installed forge you already have your minecraft loaded up and let's get into this so first off make sure your minecraft is 1.16.5 and that's the version you have forge in as well because that's the version of uh pixel we're going to be installing today and you're going to want to open up the internet now i have three monitors so bear with you i'm gonna to have to move over and i'm going to go with the assumption that you guys don't know the websites to get to pixel so we're just going to open google Open Google and literally type in Pixelmon. Now you will be met with a few results that might be a bit confusing. You'll see down here where it says, uh, also I'm gonna make sure I'm recording, yeah I am. You'll see down here where it says Pixelmon.com, Pixelmon Mod. If you click that, it's going to send you just to their form page. It's not actually gonna give you the download, so you don't really need to go there. Right at the top here where it says pixelmonmodreforge.gg, that is one of the sites we're going to be opening. Now, there's actually two sites. If you don't want to use their official website, you can scroll further down and you will get the CurseForge one. So, we will open both of those right now. So, now we are presented with two screens. There is the official reforge.gg, which is their actual like download site. You can see my video is actually uh, recommended right there. But this is where you will download their thing or you can go to CurseForge as well. But sometimes CurseForge is down. So, and I like using the official website for this purpose, but you can see CurseForge does have the uh, option to download Pixelmon. Um, it's for some reason taking a while to load right now on CurseForge, which is also why we're not going to be using it. So if you're on reforge.gg, you'll see there are two options. There's the 1.12.2 version and the 1.16.5. Now, for those who may or may not know, 1.12's version is not updating anymore. You can still download it, you can still play it, but it will not have the new Ultra Space, it won't have the new Gen 9 Pokemon which are coming out, it won't have the new Gym System, etc. So, you're going to want to click right here where it says download 1.16.5. Also, if you guys want to see, if you scroll further down, there is a catalog of all the new stuff in each new version that comes out, but I also make videos on that, so, you know... That's why my video is right there. But click download and you'll be presented with this screen right here. Now, I don't know what you guys have in terms of like a um, sort of a virus blocking software. Like if you have McAfee or something, I don't have any of that. I just have the standard one. But you might have like a random stuff on your screen where this white screen is. There might be a bunch of like ads and stuff. Uh, avoid all that. At the very top where it says skip, you're gonna wanna click skip. Now I've gotten multiple reports in the past where people are like, I don't have this skip button. If you guys have some antivirus software installed, there is a chance that it is blocking this from even appearing because it thinks it's not secure. See how it tells me I'm in a not secured site right now? Um, it will always say that. And if you have some advanced software installed that's blocking all types of like um, viruses that could infect your computer, it'll probably block this as well. You need to not have it do that because this is literally how you download the thing. I should also mention this is only for Minecraft Java Edition. You cannot download this for Bedrock. You cannot download this on your Pocket Edition. None of that exists for this mod. You have to, it's only for Forge 1.16. Anyway, I'm going to click skip. When you click skip, the download will start. You can see right here. Now, depending on what you guys are on, if you're on like a Mac or something, the download will appear somewhere else. Uh, for me, I'm on, you know, the good old, <laughs> the good old Internet Explorer, or it's now called Microsoft Edge. Um, I know some people like using Google Chrome, etc., but I personally have always used, used Microsoft Edge, which is why we're currently using it. It'll take a while to download because this is a very big mod. I should also mention while this is downloading, if you have a bad computer, if your computer cannot run over four gigabytes of RAM with Minecraft, you won't be able to run this mod. It, this mod requires a prerequisite of about four gigabytes dedicated to your Minecraft's RAM. Uh, Minecraft typically starts with two gigabytes, I believe, or one to two, I forget. But it needs to be at four to, e to even be able to consider running this mod. Otherwise, you're going to have a bunch of issues. Either way, 
uh, it is downloading now. Now I have my downloads set to automatically appear on my home screen, but most of you will probably have it go into a downloads folder. So you're going to need to be able to access that. But once this download is finished and I would cut in the video, but I'm not doing any cuts for this video, hopefully if I don't need to, um, cause I don't want to, you know, skip over anything. I want you guys to experience the full experience of how to download this mod. But once it is finished downloading, we'll close out of that. You don't need to be on this screen more unless you want to watch my video or read the, uh, the update news or anything. So we're going to close out of that. And now we're back on the home screen and I dragged it over from my other monitor, but here is the mod. Now we are going to put this mod in your mods folder. So you're going to open up your start menu, wherever, however, if it's on the left side or whatever, whatever windows version you have, open it up, open up your start menu, go to run. You're going to see this box right here up here. And I already have it pre-typed in, but percent app data percent is what you type in to access your dot Minecraft. For some reason, people still don't know this and we are in the year 2023, but that is how you access your dot Minecraft. That's how you access the config files for all your mods, including pixel mod, etc. You're going to want to open that. This folder will open. You will see at the very top, it says dot Minecraft depending on how your folders are ordered. I'm not sure what will appear first, but dot Minecraft is what you need. Open that. You will be obviously on your, you know, Minecraft uh, folder screen. Here's that config folder for all you people who are like, I can't edit the config and pick some on. You can, you just got to get into your dot Minecraft. Um, go to mods and you'll add it to this list. Now I already have it added, but you would just drag and drop it over. You'll see it's going to tell me I have you know, duplicate mods. So we're not going to worry about that. Um, but once you have it <clears throat> added to this folder, you'll see there's some other mods I've installed. I recommend always having the JEI mod or just enough resources mod also installed with your picks mod. It helps show crafting recipes where you can get those items, etc. And you can see some of the other mods I have installed with my uh, picks mod. Either way, once that is done, you can minimize this folder, open up your Minecraft. Now, uh, my Minecraft might look a little bright on this monitor because uh i don't have it on my main monitor so it might the colors might look a bit off so bear with it on that hopefully not yeah it doesn't look like that on the recording end but it's, it's a flashbang for me anyway so you're on minecraft java edition you're going to want to click play because again you already have forge installed you already have your thing selected now i will say if you want to know how to add more ram to your minecraft i'll quickly show that off go to installations under installations, assuming you've already created a new installation for the Forge or it's just the Forge version yourself, you want to click these three dots right here. It will say edit. You want to click edit. At the bottom here where it says more options, click that and see under JVM arguments where it says XMX4G. That four by default is a two. If you're having trouble running any version of modded Minecraft, change that two to a four. And that's if your computer can handle it. My computer, I believe, has 16 gigabytes of RAM or 8 or something like that. I don't even know. All I know is it can handle 4, so I changed it to 4. If you are running on an old laptop, you probably will not be able to run Pixelmon, even if you change this number. Uh, if you change this number, your computer instantly crashes. Not your computer. If your Minecraft instantly crashes, change it back to 2. Um, that's good indicator that you can't handle it. Don't mess with anything else in these things. Just change that 2 to 4. Click Save. And then launch that version. Um... And it should be like, again, default on there. Again, I'm assuming you guys have already installed Forge and you know how to do that. I have a separate guide on that on my channel. Check it out if you need to. But we are now launching Minecraft with everything installed, including the mods. Now, I will say because I have other mods installed, the home screen will not just say three mods installed. It'll say more than that. But we are launching Minecraft to prove that it has happened. It is launching on my other screen. So I'm going to move it over here just so you guys can see. It, you'll see how it says complete uh, deep scan of etc. It'll say Pixum on there if it is uh, completing and it keeps pulling it over to my other monitor because that's normally the monitor I play Minecraft on. Um, it'll be create registering. You get the Mojang screen. This is normally where you will crash if you are going to crash your Minecraft when it's loading on Mojang Studios. Mojang Studios likes crashing your game occasionally. So it'll be on this screen that it crashes if any. Wait for it. Wait for it. We're doing the Atlas stitching. You got to love the Atlas stitching. It's freezing the data. It is completed. And now you can see how it says 12 mods loaded. Now let's talk about this screen because this is what the Pixelmon screen will look like. At the bottom left, you see how it says 12 mods loaded. If you only have Pixelmon installed, it'll say three mods loaded because the two mods default from Forge itself and whatever mods you add after that, add on to that number. So technically I have... Um, 10 mods installed but if you only have pixelmon it'll say three mods installed now if you want to uh receive more updates about pixelmon stuff join their discord they have that literally here for a reason this isn't typically here in minecraft you will see there's the pixelmon tab you can click and 
it will uh, access the, it's supposed to access the Discord or whatever, but that's what that does. Here's the mods thing to show what mods you have installed. You see it says Pixelmon TCG, etc. Um, and then you can start playing Pixelmon. Here's all the worlds I normally use for stuff, etc. But you are able to play Pixelmon now. You just start a world, etc. Here, I'll even just create a new world just to prove that it, it works because someone's going to be like, you didn't. You didn't show that you can do this. I was born in the darkness. I know how mods work. Anyway, uh, we're preparing to load the screen up. We are launching for the first time, etc. You'll see the cool... I love this animation at the top where it shows like the sprites of the different uh, starter Pokemon running through even the shinies. It's, it's a really cool screen. I like it a lot. Um, again... Hopefully this was helpful to you. Hopefully this video didn't take up too much of your time. I've been going for over 10 minutes, so it probably has. Um, but I, I hope you guys, uh, know how to do this now. So again, you'll be presented with the screen. Also for people that have bad computers, this is the screen where you will lag. If you cannot handle Pixmont, it either won't load this screen at all, or it will just crash or whatever. And that's a good indicator because if you can get past this screen, you probably can run it. You'll see, we have the new gen nine starter, Sway Coco, Sprigatito and Quaxley. Uh, yes, you can access these Pokemon, but I've made multiple videos saying that they do not evolve yet. Most likely in the next update they will, which is going to be coming out soon, I think, which I'll be making content on. But of course, you can pick your, your Pokemon, start your adventure. You now automatically start in villages, for those who may not have known that with Pixelmon. Uh, you now auto-start in a village, which is nice because that's custom spawns, custom loot for you all. There's some battle. The, the battle arenas are here, which give you a bunch of good loot now, etc. Um, but yeah. There's also the daycare centers and, oh, look, it says I found a village. But yeah, that is how you play Pixelmon. How you, not how you play. That's how you install Pixelmon. Uh, I hope this guy was helpful to you all. If it was, consider leaving a like on this video, subscribing if you're new, comment down below if you have any questions, comments, and concerns. Do not comment. Does this, <laughs> I know I'm going to get these comments, but please do not just comment. Does this work for Minecraft, etc.? Are they going to update it for Minecraft 1.12? The answer is no. Um, just, if you have any questions on how to actually install them up, please comment them. Otherwise, I'm probably going to ignore you. I'm kidding. That was mean. I'll probably say something back to you like, uh, no, you're wrong, kid. I'm kidding. I'm kidding, guys. I'm kidding. Anyway, that's going to do it for this guide. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I also hope you all have a great day. I will try my best to always have this link in the description of Pixelmon videos going onward, so you can reference this if you need to. Either way, hope you all have a great day. Stay safe, everybody. Goodbye.